Now the wedding day is not all about the dress, but it's definitely a big part. And today I get to introduce you to Mika from Bridal Bazaar, a new store here in Westmount. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for inviting me. Tell me all about your store. Uh, the store is, uh, the concept is to help to everybody to get dressed for the big day. So we try to provide as much as we can with the wedding gowns, the evening, the veils, the, the accessories, and also we have a couple of evening dresses. So they can go in there and they can browse around and they can see all the different designers. What designers do you have? We have uh, five designers. Uh, the most famous and known here in uh, Canada is Posa Italia. There is a dress as Kelly. There is a, a, another designer uh, named David Emmanuel, which is the designer for Princess Diana. Mm. And we have also uh, high-end dresses from international designer. As well, so you can go with the classic or you can look for something that's more red carpet almost. Yes. That's wonderful. And like you said, the concept is a little different. Like you have beautiful wedding gowns that you've worn today, something you would expect to pay three, four, five thousand dollars, but in your store it's much less. The, this is the, the really the deal because people when come in the store they think that is something not affordable but we make it affordable. And why are you able to do that? Why can you make it affordable? Just to make people happy and to help them. <laughs> I understand though that some of the dresses are from the designer directly. It's a sample dress or maybe even used once on a photo shoot. Yeah, we used a couple of them for production for a wedding magazine. But these dresses are brand new. They are used only one time. Mm -hmm. So who knows where they've been seen before, exactly. which is awesome. Exactly. And, uh, and uh, because they're a smaller store and fewer designers, you have limited sizes. Yes, this mm -hmm. is true. And it's much better uh, the interested bride to come and to try because the, the dress can be not the dress that they told will be the best one. So it's necessary to try. Because mm -hmm, you can't order another one. Tell me about that. Should a bride be making an appointment with you to come in? It's much better. So uh, they will see what is the phone number. The location is very uh, easy. Mm -hmm. uh, it's Westmount and it's near to Atwater Square. Mm -hmm. So it's very easy to come. And should she be bringing a few people with her or just come herself? Let's say that it's much better to be with people that she are reliable for her because uh, this is a big decision and not everybody is so... Um, it's good to have one or two people yeah, just it's, get an idea. It's like uh, the family, they need the support from there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, and when they come in, is there certain things they should be bringing, wearing, not wearing? So the first thing, the uh, it's necessary to bring the shoes. Mm. If it's not the shoes for the wedding, it should be similar because with the wedding gown and with the shoes, it's, yeah, with it's the right completely heels, different. You definitely yeah, change. Uh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And the other thing that uh, is better is to not have makeup. Okay, don't because put on a full they face. can damage the dresses. Mm, that's right. We want to think ahead for the other yeah. girls. Yeah. And I assume also your undergarments, what you're going to wear the day of would be good to bring. Uh, yeah, and it's much better to be something natural color mm -hmm. because we don't know. We have white dresses, we have a beige dresses, mm -hmm. ivory dresses, and if you have something natural, it will not Blend be in. a problem. Mm, it doesn't distract. Yeah. Exactly. That's wonderful. So they've made their appointment, they've come in, they've tried on. So it's almost like you're waiting for a Cinderella to come to slip into the perfect dress, isn't it? Yes, uh, the idea is to make dreams come true. Mm, definitely. And with those prices, you can. They don't have to compromise. What's the highest dress that you have there, the highest price dress? The highest is uh, $9.99. Oh. Everything go below all the, that. Uh, yeah, below that. And again, it's just, it's only because it's been used once or it's been on a magazine. And, yes. and some of the international um, designers you have, I understand you have Ivan Cohen. Yeah. It's a little bit more expensive, but it's uh, like high fashion. Very high fashion. Very, couture, Very high yeah. fashion, yes. And uh, it's necessary to come and to see maybe this is the type 
really the type that they need. Mm -hmm. It depends mm -hmm. what is the shape of the, uh, of the body. Because some of the other stores, they have like a, a medium size, and that's really hard for someone that's a lot smaller in size to try on. They can't imagine themselves, whereas your store has that. We have. We have variety of sizes, so it's not necessary uh, to be like very tiny mm -hmm. or to be some specific si mm -hmm. uh, size. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes, depending on the dress, can be different sizes mm -hmm. also. Tell me about that. When somebody comes in, you, you check their body type, their body shape, what they're looking for, and how does that help you help them? The first thing that we do is to ask what is the dream dress. Mm. After that, we start analyzing. Is it the dress that they need or maybe there is something else that will show them better than... Because mm. the girls like to see in the internet uh, amazing things, but these amazing things are on amazing bodies. Mm -hmm. So no, ev not everybody is a model. Mm. So it needs to translate into... Exactly. How often does that happen? Someone comes in and thinks they're going with one style and then they change. Let's say 50% of the time. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. But they don't leave um, unhappy. No, 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 they are happy. Uh, Either they bought the dress that they want, either they know what they need. Mm. Because sometimes uh, the brides don't know exactly what they need. No. As a style, as a color, as a shape, everything. Mm, yeah. Wonderful. And I'm so glad you have a team there that can help out with yeah. that. Yeah. Answer I all those questions. A very, very ho uh, like a helpful uh, assistant. Ah. So when you make your appointment, she's going to be there, she's going to be getting... I know when I went to try on, she was there helping me in, helping me out, helping me pin. She knew what could fit, so... Mm, exactly. I agree exactly. with you. And then for the complete look, tell me what else that you have there in store to finish off we the look. We have veils, we have tiaras, we have a, a store, jewelry store just next to our store oh. for, uh, for jewelry, for uh, everything that will match to the dress. Ah, oh, that'll make it the complete look. Exactly. And that does make a difference. Once they put the veil on you, it really can change everything. Yeah, the veil is the final touch. It is. <laughs> yes. Beautiful. Thank you so much for coming in you studio. You're welcome. Thank you. When you're ready to start trying on dresses yourself, you can go to the Showcase Wedding website, click on the link for Bridal Bazaar, and book your appointment.